Hi guys, this is Mrs. Crawford and I'm here to get you to understand who the major players are in Julius Caesar. Now that you've finished the first scene, which basically has bit parts and is our exposition, um, let's dive into who you're going to meet. Uh, along the way, uh, I want you to take some notes. So let me uh, demonstrate for you, first of all, how I would like you to take your notes. You can see here that I have made a chart in my Google Drive. Um, this chart has uh, various characters that are important to the play. And, and if you look now, you'll see that there are four characters that are the major supporters of Julius Caesar in the play. So I'd like you to pause the video and you can do your chart in notebook paper or you can do it in Google Drive. Um, but I want you to write down the four supporters of Julius Caesar and then I will describe them one by one. Our first character we're going to talk about, besides Julius himself, and hopefully you copied the information about Julius in your notes already, is Calpurnia. Now, Calpurnia is important because she's the wife of, of Julius Caesar. And uh, she is barren, which means she cannot have any children. And she has a dream that foretells that Caesar will die if he goes to the Senate. So she begs him not to go. And uh, so the fact that she's barren and the fact that she foreshadows his death are the two reasons that Calpurnia is important to this play. Our next major player is Mark Antony. He is a senator. He is a good friend of Caesar. He is an athlete, and he's seen sort of as a minor character by the conspirators, but he's actually super important because he uses reverse psychology to turn the Romans against the conspirators, and he's got a super famous speech that we'll study. He's also a member of the Second Triumvirate, the uh, one that rules after Caesar's death. The last supporter of Caesar is Octavius Caesar. Uh, he is actually the nephew of Julius Caesar in real life. Uh, Caesar adopts him as a son, and he is another member of the triumvirate that rules after Caesar's death. He's also the one that convinces Mark Antony to start a war against the conspirators who killed Caesar. Uh, now that we've talked about the supporters of Caesar, let's talk about the people that are against Caesar, okay? So um, here we go. Let's pull up our notes again. Go ahead and copy down these four people that are against Caesar, and then I'll talk about them one by one. 